free government what it sought prioritizes the health and wellness of its peoples above all else and one major way this can be made possible is through a well thought out insurance scheme which makes medicare and medic aid accessible to the majority since the inception of the present administration under the leadership of prince dakbo abiodu the Ogun State government has taken the health and well-being of the people with no kid gloves. It has implemented people-oriented policies and programs in the bid to boost the healthcare sector in the state. Some of the activities in this regard include the upgrading and increase in the fleet of vehicles for the ambulance and emergency services, distribution of 3.7 million insecticide mosquito nets, mass vaccination against COVID-19 for residents and payment of the sum of 100 million Naira grants as a commitment fund to help facilitate health insurance scheme, among many others. Only recently, the Ogun State Governor, Prince Dakbo Abiodu, launched the Basic Health Care Provision Fund Program and the Ogun State Informal Sector Health Insurance Scheme. This was part of the state policy on affordable and accessible health care delivery for all the peoples of the state. Of immense significance was the fact that the event had a symbolic edge, namely that the scheme was inaugurated as a feat commemorating the 46th year of the creation of our dear state. Today's event is yet another watershed event in the enviable history of our dear state. Let me first join all of us in celebrating our dear state as we are another year older. This state was created February 3rd, 1976 out of the old Western region. Today we are 46 years old and we've chosen that day to launch our health insurance scheme. It is indeed another milestone in the successful and continued implementation of the Building Our Future Together agenda in Ogun State. The setting was the June 12 Cultural Center, Kuto, in Nabe Okuta, the state's capital, where dignitaries and eminent personalities, including stakeholders of the health sector, both at the state and national levels, top government functionaries, captains of industries, politicians, artisans, markets men and women, students, trade unions and others from all walks of life had gathered to launch the lofty ideal in addition to celebrating the 46th anniversary of the state's creation. <laughs> At the event, Prince Abiodun affirmed that social welfare was a vital part of the Isheya mantra aimed at improving the well-being of the citizenry. As an administration, we have a blueprint that defines our social contract with the good people of the state with the acronym 
is share I for infrastructure, A for social women and welfare, E for education, Y for youth employment and job creation, and A for agriculture. The interest is gathering to know that the importance of social welfare, which is the second pillar of a mantra, is our commitment to the provision of the required infrastructure and measures towards ensuring the well-being, wellness, and welfare of our people at all times. In fact, as an important kernel of this contract, the provision of qualitative healthcare service delivery to the people is a mark of a eloquent statement of intent. That is, only a healthy populace can enjoy the provision of infrastructure and tap into the available economic potentials of our dear state. He said the scheme christened Ilera Dero was to serve as a cushion for both formal and informal sectors to access basic health care services. Consequently, it is the sense of duty and fulfillment that launched this basic health care provision fund and the commencement of the informal sector health insurance scheme that I am today christening Ilera Dero. Ilera Dero. And henceforth, when we say Ilera Dero, you respond a Joshi Bubuani. Ilera Dero. Registering for the scheme, Governor Abiodun urged residents to seize the opportunity created by the state government so that they could partake of it. The 12,000 per annum payment is payable in 1,000 naira per month. So it's not unnecessarily burdensome. And like KBAC had clarified, 1,000 naira per month is just about 35 naira per day. 35 naira per day. I mean, come on. Everybody can afford that. And I also want to thank the speaker for his suggestion that members of the House should take ownership. They should, you know, pay on behalf of their constituents. I expect um, all my commissioners to do the same, you know, um, your commissioners representing your people um, and also our leaders, rather than just dashing out money to our people, let us, you know, just like Baba Kabisi has said, let us, you know, pay towards their, their provision. And for the family scheme, which is meant to be 48,000 naira per annum, it translates to 4,000 naira per month. And I'm sure that, you know, all of us can afford to pay 4,000 naira for, per month for a, a family scheme. The Executive Secretary, National Health Insurance Scheme, Professor Nasir Sambo, observed with its satisfaction the fact that health delivery in the state mirrored the federal government's policy on affordable and accessible health care delivery for all Nigerians. I'm very delighted to be part of this historic moment in the nation's efforts towards improving the quality of life of the good, pe good people and hospitable people of all states. I especially thank His Excellency, the, Gov the Executive Governor of Ogun State, Prince Darfur Abiyoni MFR, for the privilege to witness the launch of the Basic Healthcare Provision Fund and implementation of informal sector health insurance scheme in the Gateway State. This is in alignment with the objective of achieving universal health coverage, which is one of the top priorities on the global agenda as well as integral part of sustainable development goals. In pursuit of this goal, the present administration of President Muhammad Buhari GCFR is working assiduously to ensure that every Nigerian has access to affordable quality health care services. The State Commissioner for Health, Dr. Tomi Koka, had earlier explained that the program was aimed at ensuring that residents in the state had access to affordable health care services. The launch of the Basic Health Care Provision Fund is to ensure the provision of qualitative, affordable health care service to Ogun State residents with major emphasis on the poor, the vulnerable in the society, such as pregnant women, children under five, the elderly above the age of 65, and the disabled. This laudable program 
is to, is to be implemented by the government through Ogun State Health Insurance Agency in partnership with the Ogun State Primary Health Development Agency. Through the support of this administration, Ogun State has fulfilled all conditions to qualify for this federal government initiative, hence the launch that we are holding today. Also, Executive Secretary Ogun State Health Insurance King, Dr. Afola Bidosumu, hinted that both programs were backed up by law for sustainability, making the health insurance scheme mandatory for all residents, irrespective of race, gender, religion, and social economic status. Health insurance has come to stay. It's the way forward for our health system. We encourage every one of us that are here to please help us spread this good news. Because the issue of going to the chemist going to the patent dealer, going to um, an hospital and dipping your hand in your pocket to pay. If you look at how much you spend every month and how much you spend every year, you know that this is a good deal. It's a win-win situation. He further highlighted the options open to interested individuals and families. We have the former sector health insurance scheme. We have the former sector health insurance scheme. And we have another scheme for the poorest of the poor among us. And I'm going to start with that. It is called the Basic Health Care Provision Fund, which is one of the schemes that we are launching today. The federal government has given us some money. The state government is supporting that money massively to make sure that we enroll those in our communities that cannot afford to pay. For those that are in the informal sector, you need to make a token payment of 12,000 Naira for one year. And once you make that payment, it is the owners in our, it is on us to come and enroll you. We have our agents in all 20 local governments. For a family plan package, instead of paying 72,000, the state government is also subsidizing that and asking us to pay just 48,000 Naira. With 48,000 Naira, we can do better than that. With 48,000 Naira, the family of a father, a mother, and four biological children will be given these six cards, and they are also entitled to free health for one year. This is Ogun State. Let us continue to maintain our goodly nature by doing the right things at all times. Pay your taxes regularly. Dump your refuse in designated places. Live happily with your neighbors. Let us continue to make Ogun State great. Ibega ikmile ogun ajoshe gogo wani Corroborating the legality of the scheme Speaker Ogun State House of Assembly Right Honorable Olakunde Taiwo Oluoma urged everyone to take advantage of the program by subscribing to the scheme. I want to advise the agency judge to appoint ambassadors at the start of our society as insurance scheme ambassadors. Among the transport children, the students, the young adults, the bandits, the transgenders, so that the orientation, the information can go deep throughout the state. That is number one. Number two, I need you to advise or encourage political office holders, be it elected or appointed, to use this as a sort of environment. Even if it is one person per word, it should be an example. If you pick one person and say, okay, instead of you coming to me and saying you want to go to the hotel, um, register one person per word in your name and then let's see how others will copy it across the state. Also speaking, the chairman Ogun State Council of Obers and Nakaribu of Remoland, His Royal Majesty, Obad Dr. Babatunde Ajayi, assured that traditional rulers will educate their subjects on the scheme and its benefits. We have listened to Oto, 
Ubo Awoba Oda Lagos Ububa and sell the program. We're not selling the government. We're selling this beautiful, laudable program. Other well meaning citizens. From trade and market unions to students and faith-based representatives added their voices to the acceptance and benefits of the scheme to them and their members. The organized labor want to align with the government of the state in pursuing the goal of universal health coverage by the year 2025. We only want to appeal to the Open State Health Insurance Agency who is responsible for mobilizing financial support for this, for this project to please allow the beneficiary to have free access to both primary, secondary, and tertiary health facilities. Say on behalf of the over 2.1 million Nigerian students in Ogun State that we are not surprised that this kind of scheme is taking place in Ogun State. When you have a type of governor that have broken records and that have broken the status quo in terms of governance, these are the things that we expect in the dispensation of government and governance business in this state. Your Excellency, some of your programs are not only loud, they are timely and they are surprising, most especially with the type of policies that we play in Nigeria. You have put aside political affiliations, you have put aside personal interest, you have even put aside regional interest in dispensing your duty, and we say we thank you. <laughs> Finally, regarding to this program, I would like to advise that the state government uh, utilize the existing health centers in the state as a point of registration in our campuses so that the process of registration and being able to benefit from this program will not be too cumbersome. This is an opportunity for me today to thank Your Excellency in the Pope. The League has mandated me before now to find time to see and thank you, Your Excellency. Be sure that this evening, from tomorrow in the most, we are going to announce and tell us about what it is. Financial institution pledged its support to the scheme. From Echo Bank, the Pan African Bank, we really appreciate what you are doing, Mr. Governor, for the people of Ogun State. Health is wealth. And if the health issue is solved, majority of the problem we have in Nigeria is already solved. Thank you, Governor. Thank you. This is a big one. The representative of Market Women Association of Nigeria suggested some procedures that will make the scheme accessible to market women across the state. Health is wealth. It's a very good product in the health sector. Why? Because the you know, majority of our women are, will be mo the most beneficiary of this program. I'm paying 1,000 Naira a month and getting medical attention free it goes a long way and it will be in all primary and general hospitals not that we get there as you show them your card they will give you prompt attention even it is for only for first aid 
is a very laudable one. Whereas, it's not only for first aid. You can give, child, you can give birth to a child even to, twice, two times in a year. The program covers you all. So, I really appreciate the program and thank the government, most especially our Amiebu and Silent Sashiva uh, Prince Dapo, Abiodun Emafa. We are going to do it like a kickstart. When we want to do something, we do fire brigade approach. All market women must key into the program. As we have said, they should put a center in the market. We are the market women will be paying their 1,000 1, naira. They cannot go to websites, so, 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 so. But this, if there is a center in the market, they will all key to the program because we will let them know the importance and the benefits they will gain in the program. Our crew caught up with potential beneficiaries of the scheme in both the formal and informal sectors. The program is okay and for the benefit of those that, are, that did not have much. So, and my advice to fellow women is to join the program in order to be a beneficiary. And also I want to use this medium to appreciate our governor, Prince Dako Abiodun, yes. for the wonderful job he has been doing so far. And I pray that the Lord will continue to strengthen him. He has started well and he will end well in Jesus' name. What I can say is about this is good and can appreciate the governor. Indeed, the state government continues to work hard at ensuring that the citizens are adequately captured in the delivery of effective healthcare services. The ball is now in our court as a people to avail ourselves of the numerous advantages placed on our table in order to get the best for ourselves and our families. Please embrace it. Igbega Ikminewgun at Joshiwani.